Hello and welcome. Hope you're all having a lovely day. In this video, we will be showing how to make an uh, automatic honey, um, honey, and a honey comb um, automatic farm. The items you'll need for a, oh, a honey comb is three pieces of redstone. A beehive or bee nest, one bee, observer, dispenser, four pieces of glass, uh, a flower or a fallen of azalea of any sort, a hopper, one random block of any sort, and one chest. The glass is not required, you can just have you know, glass here like this. And also, depending on the direction of where you have your uh, thing the um, like the direction of the uh, I think it's behind I don't really know but um, depending on the direction uh, you do need the I think that's yeah the dispenser in a certain direction um, it's all just trial and error on that behalf but uh, otherwise you need to build it like this so basically, you put one stress down here. Right. And in a different direction, of course, you will have to do it differently. I do not have an exact... Um, ...know-how on to what direction it has to be or anything. And I will show you a fully working one other than in this video. And then of course you'll need to place the hopper uh, just somewhere around this area. If it spawns on top of the dispenser, don't worry, you just need to place it in a different uh, side of the um, honey uh, area. <laughs> Beehive, bee nest. And you just put shears in here for a honeycomb. For a honey uh, farm. You need a little auto sort of like this. You also need you need for this farm four pieces of glass or four of well basically just any random block. Uh, just to cover up this little spot here. Uh, one observer, one dispenser, one redstone comparator, redstone repeater, a hopper, a flower or flowering azalea of some sort. Um, a bee, bee nest or beehive, whichever um, suits you. Uh, one chest, one anvil, one redstone torch, six pieces of redstone, and 27 dirt. Now, what you need the anvil for is to actually name the uh, dirt because um, you actually basically just need to name it just something random like you can even just put a one at the end of it or something and basically whenever a hopper is powered uh, it will stop drip blocks from coming in it so this is basically like a little auto sorter you need Oops. you basically need it to go like that and bottom one doesn't really matter what direction the bottom one goes but uh, you need the top one like this and basically whenever the bottom one is powered uh, by a redstone torch or just redstone in generally um, it will um, actually stop blocks from going in it but if it's facing straight down then it will uh, let blocks go through it still And then you need a redstone torch. And then boom, bosh, bang. That is a little auto sorter right there. I'll show you a fully, like, full scale auto sorter in a second. And then you just put your dirt in here. You can just put one, it's like this. You can just put one like that. But then you'll make it so you have, you have to put more of the block in there. Such as this honey. 
Um, so then you just put the honey in there. And as you can see, uh, when I was building it all in that, I have actually gone and collected 12 honey over time. So if I go and chuck that in there, uh, it's going through. And seven honey in there, and then you've got six in here. Obviously, there'll be a chest below here, or you know, something for transport or something. Something along them lines. It does not matter to how you really build this top part. Um, you just have to make sure that it basically has a dispenser. Um, and then basically you have to have the hopper underneath the dispenser. So it does not entirely matter to where you build it. But, you know. And then all you have to do then is put the dispenser like that. And you need the bee nest. The flowering azalea or flower. You just put a grass block there and then put a flower on top. That'll still work. And then, of course, you get the glass out. Once again, you do not need this. You can just have it open or just dirt blocks or something such as there. And it'll still work. And then you just need the observer. Which there is a way you can actually do this without needing an observer which is basically just a little redstone clock in order to do this and it will work just not as efficiently as, well i suppose you could say not as efficiently efficient uh, efficiency efficient efficiently efficiently um without it uh, like the without that there so it'll just basically just fire at random points Um, you do need still the uh, random thing here you know so I like, auto sorts it into the chest below it Um, I believe actually I'm just gonna put a chest beneath it or just bring it all in there no so in order for it to not get like stuck in here um, obviously like if I go and do this it will just keep one piece of honey in the um, hopper and then the f other remaining five will go in the chest and then with this like I say earlier um, you do actually have to bear on the direction you do have to have the hopper in certain areas so basically that's all, all in the area build this so you also have to keep an eye on that um, but uh, yeah I'm Hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I shall show you the working, um, the other working ones in my main world with all my friends in that. And here we are in the main world that we play on. This is the um, honey farm that I actually uh, have in this world. Oh, the honeycomb, sorry, as you can see from my supply. And it is very efficient if you ever need one again. This is my dried kelp, which will be coming up in another video shortly. And this is my own custom texture pack with chests and uh, the glass and everything. This is my cactus farm, which once again will be in another video. And this is my honey farm, which is efficiently working. And as you can see, we have an efficient amount of honey with only two uh, honey sets. Hello, Mr. Camel. And this is the uh, honey like uh, back area. And then for an auto sorter. Here is my auto sorter. This is my auto sorter area. This is just what it looks like from the outside. And then for the redstone. This is what the redstone is like, which is exactly the same as the um the honey as you can see. And I will probably do another video for an uh, auto sorter, which I will say after you've done your first one, it is much simpler. 
And this is just a simple, like, cheap way on doing a uh, auto sorter with water, which will once again be coming up in another video. And I uh, hope you all have enjoyed, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Good night, everybody.